Hello, hello. How's it going? And uh, we have here. Hi, uh, everybody. <laughs> take it away, Art. Oh, my God. So uh, super excited about today. So uh, we're all ocean liner going to that blue ocean. And I'll quickly define, you know, uh, what it means uh, for everybody. The blue ocean is really a very famous uh, term for uncharted territories for business. You know, the ocean of uh, possibilities. And we truly here at IDEX uh, right now charting the blue waters with building and Web3. And we'll, why, why don't we explain quickly what Web3 is? So I wanted to really quick uh, to give you an idea of what Web3 is, because before we jump into the panels, before we jump to Larry's, Larry, who gives a really great overview. But put it simply, any physical object connected to the internet is a smart device. And uh, think your car, smartwatch, home security system, and even your coffee maker or fridge may be connected to your Wi-Fi right now. This collective industry of smart devices is called the Internet of Things. And it's, ex it's expected to be worth 12 trillion in the next 10 years. And this is not our words, it's McKinsey's, one of the most reputed uh, industry giants in consulting. And that they believe this is the giant of the industry. So it is a truly blue ocean of possibilities. And as companies race to take every object we use in our daily lives and connect it to the internet, now is the time to take a deeper look at these connected things and discuss how leaders should be paving the way for our new reality when life feels more virtual than ever before. So without further ado, I, I will push it into Larry, who got an excellent intro for us about something really exciting that just happened. Like we were blown away. So this, this was a long time coming. I cannot overstate or emphasize how uh, valuable and magical at this moment is. So, Larry, feel, feel free to walk us through it. Absolutely. You know, it's great to have everyone tuning in on this, uh, you know, pre-holiday season live stream event that we have today. And uh, just to reiterate, you know, it's a very exciting time for IOTEX. You know, we have an amazing uh, event planned for you guys today with... Uh, uh, IOTEX core team members and our friends from uh, AWS, Amazon, ARM, uh, Industry IoT Consortium, the Consumer Technology Association, Mobi, and Protofire, um, as well as you know Jing and Simone on the IOTEX team are going to be joining these panels. Uh, we're really going to break down uh, exactly what Web3 is and the opportunities, uh, not only for IoT, but also in general. So really looking forward to these expert opinions. Um, throughout this session. But, um, you know, just wanted to start with a, a recap of a big announcement that IOTEX had uh, earlier this week. And it's something that, um, you know, we've been chipping away at for a very long time, as you can tell, just by um, just by the, the logos here um, on on this graphic about our event. You know, we've been rubbing shoulders with um, not only the startup space, uh, not only the crypto space, but also the traditional enterprise space. Uh, for a long time, really trying to bring Web 2 into Web 3. And a big part of that is all about uh, standardization of different core pillars. And, you know, just wanted to mention that, you know, IOTEX yesterday, we announced uh, our initiation of the Identity of Things standards launch, where IOTEX is the chair uh, with support from Bosch, Huawei, Lockheed Martin, Ericsson, Lenovo, CAICT, uh, cloud walkers and to other organizations. Um, and this is a really uh, important pillar, uh, not only of uh, what's going on in the blockchain space today, but how we envision uh, this interoperable machine economy uh, in the future. So, um, you know, just wanted to break this down and add a little bit of context. You know, for those that have followed the IOTEX community for a long time, you guys know that we're. Uh, very deep into these types of initiatives, right? There's really two ways to think about the blockchain and IoT landscape. One way is how uh, IoT can impact blockchain today. And this is where smart devices as arbiters of truth or proof generators or a data source for blockchains is gonna be extremely important. Using real world data to trigger actions via self-executing smart contracts. And that in itself is a fascinating design space. Uh, but the other way to think about blockchain and IoT is what can blockchain do for traditional IoT systems, right? And this is really about how do we use blockchain first as point solutions to address any friction points in 
these end to end IoT workflows uh, where we can embed more trust into these processes. But eventually we see blockchain as an important foundation, uh, not just as a point solution, but also as an end to end foundation for the future of IoT. And that is really about the long, slow grind of building standards, building frameworks that are kind of universally uh, applicable. Um, and this is the one of the uh, the very important pillars of our future vision. So like I mentioned, those that have been following the IOTEX community for a long time know that we're very involved in the industry IoT consortium. We started several pilots there uh, related to valuable asset tracking uh, with Pebble Tracker, which is shipping very soon. Very, very exciting to see that. Uh, we're also very involved in Mobi. Uh, Mobi is the mobility alliance uh, that is seeking to democratize access to the new economy of movement with blockchain and IoT. And within Mobi, we're also running several pilots using Pebble Trackers, tracking um, vehicles through space and time, uh, and providing verifiable information about what happened in the real world so we can trigger different workflows and business models in the digital world. And we're excited to have members from IIC and Mobi uh, join our panel today. Um, and those that also know, you know, we've also been involved in other IEEE standards. You know, Shin Shin, our head of cryptography, he's the vice chair of this P2418.1 IEEE standard, which provides a common framework for how blockchain can be used in legacy IoT systems. But this new IEEE standard that we've unveiled yesterday um, is one that IOTEX is the founder of, actually, and the, the chair of. Uh, so we're really leading um, these other enterprises, or, you know, facilitating um, the development of this universal standard, which seeks to define how decentralized identity and verifiable credentials uh, can fit into uh, traditional IoT um, frameworks. So all the way from IoT security to device authentication to access controls, uh, you know, identity of things working group is going to be a very important pillar of uh, what that looks like. Um, you know, de de decentralized identity used to be a um, the hottest topic of 2019, I still remember. And uh, even though it's kind of, you know, faded uh, uh, in the eyes of the media and what's being discussed today, you know, NFTs have really taken on um, uh, a, a large uh, audience, um, but they, they function in very similar ways, right? Uh, actually, uh, NFTs and DIDs. It's all about user ownership um, and how we can enable, um, you know, these assets that we own to be authorized and used by other people. Um, but, you know, DID has been something that IOTEX even since 2019 has continually worked on. And what's really even exciting is it's an important pillar in our machine fi roadmap. You know, um, for those that, uh, you know, saw our previous machine fi announcement, you know, machine fi is really about empowering uh, everyday people and businesses to not only own the data and their, the devices that they use, but also control the value that's generated by their machines. So whether, whether you're an owner, or beneficiary of your data, your privacy, and money. Um, Machine Fi realizes the vision that devices are owned by the people and serve the people. Um, but without devices that have an identity um, and can own and control the assets, you know, this value can never be passed on to users. So um, as you can see in our roadmap here uh, for 2022 and beyond, you know, machine identity is a really, really big pillar of what we have planned for the future. And we're excited to see this 2958 identity of things standard, which we're working on alongside those major enterprises, um, fit into IOTEX's future. Um, you know, just uh, I'm not gonna you know bore you guys with the technical details of decentralized identity, but just wanted to mention that all of the information about IOTEX's initiatives uh, within decentralized identity are available in our onboarding pack and also available open source on GitHub. So we're really excited to. Uh, to bring that. Um, so, you know, de decentralized identity is really, really important pillar of interoperability and security for IoT systems in a nutshell. Uh, and we encourage you guys to really understand how decentralized identity not only differs from traditional centralized identity and federated identity models, but also how it fits into these Web3 tech stacks, which I'm sure we'll dive into a lot deeper on this conversation. Um, it was also great to see a lot of media coverage around this. Uh, Cointelegraph had published uh, 
this great feature, our article yesterday, as well as FX Street um, highlighting our relationships with these major enterprises, Lockheed, Ericsson, Lenovo, Huawei, Bosch, and definitely more to come in the future. Um, so yeah, you know, uh, any uh, businesses uh, or folks that want to get in touch with us, um, you know, you go to iotex.io slash enterprise, get in touch with us anytime. Um, and anyone that wants to also contribute to this a new IEEE standard, uh, you can get in touch with us um, or incorporate this. You know, this is really about bringing the mind share together from not only enterprise space, but also startups um, and individual researchers as well. So anyone that's interested in helping to define the future universal standard for how identity is going to work, uh, we would love to have you guys uh, on. So, you know, that's my very high level uh, overview today. Um, a lot of materials uh, coming uh, in the future and a lot of already uh, great um, articles that you can read and dig into online. But uh, today is not about sharing IEEE news. It's about, high, uh, again, uh, highlighting the expert insights that we have from our amazing panel. Thank you.